I am dressed like a West Side gangster today for some reason. Darcy! Hey guys! What's up? It's your favorite Boat Hayden. We're back at it again with another video. Today we have another foundation review. Well, it's not really a foundation, is it? It's a skin tint. There is a difference, very crucial difference, and I'll explain it to you in a second. But before we do anything, you guys need to follow me on TikTok because I made a TikTok last night and I literally bruised my no-no square. It really hurts to sit. Bought a pink Lamborghini just to race with China. Got a bruised vagina. It's been a rough night. I made a poll on Instagram to see whether you wanted me to try the Fenty foundation or try some of the new more stuff that I got and Fenty basically kicked Morphe's ass. So here we are. So I actually bought these myself. I bought the colors 17 and 18. So hopefully one of these will fit me. The skin tint comes in 25 shades, which is only half of the shades of the original foundation. However, this is a skin tint. Therefore, it's going to be able to fit a lot more skin tones because it's not full coverage. Kind of rule of thumb is the higher the coverage a foundation has, the more precise it has to be to fit your skin tone. But with a lighter coverage skin tint like this, it will fit a larger range of skin tones. Therefore, 25 is an extremely acceptable amount to have. So Rihanna actually uploaded a video where she put the skin tint on and she used her hands, which I never do. I never use my hands to apply anything, really. It's really messy, so I brought my paper towels. I'm gonna try these with my hands. I'm not gonna use a primer because usually with skin tints, I don't use any kind of primer. It's just supposed to be a really natural look. So today we're gonna do a very natural looking, everyday kind of look. If it's a tomboy style. Like I said before, I have shade 17 and 18. I'm gonna try these on the back of my hand to see which one would fit Better. This is 17 and this is 18. This is 17 and this is 18. I feel like I'm probably better off with the darker shade, which is 18. Looking at these, both of these are very neutral looking tones. So like this is 18. That looks like it's gonna be perfect. And this is 17, which looks like it's a little too light, but 18 looks really good. Just gonna wipe off 17 and we're gonna go with 18. So like I said before, I'm not gonna use a primer, but my skin is prepped though. It's fully washed and moisturized and like I can still feel my moisturizer on it. My skin is super prepped right now. I'm going to zoom you guys right in here. Oh, we're getting real close right now. We're getting real intimate. I don't think we need to use a lot. It's really, it's a very thin texture, but I feel like it's still gonna have pretty good coverage just from this application. But we haven't blended it out yet, so we'll see once we blend it out. So I'm just gonna start on this side. I'm just applying it like it's a moisturizer. That's a lot of coverage. I'm surprised there's this much coverage. Are you guys seeing this coverage? Skin tints are gonna be good if you want to do a really natural makeup look or like you're not a full coverage kind of person. Not everyone wants to be glam all the time. I have normal to dry skin and right now my skin is very normal and not dry because it's getting closer to the summertime. My skin really only gets really dry in the winter. So I don't have any dry patches or anything going on right now. The only thing that I'm not really liking about it is that I feel like it's making my skin look a little bit dull. Am I crazy? Am I on crack? I watched a few other reviews and people have said that they did not like the finger application. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a beauty blender on the other side. Maybe I'm just not good at applying with my fingers because I never do it. I don't know. But I feel like, like this side is covered and like you can see less of my dark circles and stuff, but it just feels very dull. When I think of a skin tint, I feel like I'm supposed to be radiant and glowing and like, let me look at what this is supposed to do. Okay, so according to the box, it says light to medium coverage, yeah, for all skin tones, blends and blurs to instant perfection, light as air. And when I look at my face, this side does look more blurred. Maybe that's what's throwing me off of the blurry mess. Girl, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna try the beauty blender on this side. Guys, I just got a new beauty blender. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look, she's perfect. Perfection. Now I have to destroy her. I'm gonna blend this 
out. Who is texting me? I like it way better with the Beauty Blender application. Like, do you guys see that difference? Am I crazy? That is what skin is supposed to look like. Like, this whole side of my face feels so dull and lifeless. I'm gonna apply a bit more product. The Beauty Blender side just looks so much better. Like, are you guys seeing this? Are you guys seeing the difference? Okay, so let's put on the rest of our makeup. I've been trying to do that concealer method. Instead of doing my giant triangle from 2016. Because the triangle is not necessary, it's just fun. And today we're being really light and airy with our makeup, okay? So next, we're gonna do eyebrows. I feel like, I feel like I did an okay job of plucking my eyebrows this week. So filling them in shouldn't be too bad. We are dressed like a tomboy today, so we're gonna do tomboy makeup. Whatever that means. I don't know what that means. Oh my me, oh my god, how this girl gets so fly. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows a little bit darker than I usually do. Because I feel like that's more tomboyish, you know? I want to look hard, like I'm from the streets. I'm dressed like I'm from the streets for some reason. I live in the suburbs, y'all. <laughs> I'm just a poser. I want to see how this blends with the skin tint because my concealer is pretty high coverage and the skin tint is not. This is honestly like way more than enough concealer. I don't know why I was using so much concealer before, guys. I think I was crazy. <laughs> And then I'm just going to go over that with a little bit of translucent powder. You guys know me, I say, oh, just a little bit of powder. And then I put 10 pounds on. It's so never just a little bit with me. I gotta learn to control myself. But really, really, we're just putting on a little today. Just, I swear to God, I swear to God, guys. I'm gonna take my 350 neutral palette that I always use from Morphe and use this color that I clearly always use because there's a giant hole in it. I feel like it doesn't really make sense to do a full glam look with a skin tint. Although I've been known to do weirder things. I'm gonna wear this for a few hours. In the meantime, I'm probably just gonna make some TikToks. I'm literally probably just gonna use this one eyeshadow, put on some mascara and blush, and call it a freaking day, guys. I'm gonna put on some contour. The contour stick that I'm using is the Kylie Cosmetics one in Deep Bronze. This is the second darkest shade. And if you guys are wondering, all the products that I'm using are gonna be in the description box below. I'm basically just using a lot of my everyday products. Where's my mascara? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Benefit sent me this mascara and I wanna try it out. They're real magnet. Okay, let's see what this does. Back. I have pretty short lashes, so I definitely need a lengthening mascara. What the fuck is that? And I also want to take my Hoola Toasted Bronzer and just quickly go over where I put the Kylie Cosmetics. Just to get a little bit more definition in the cheekbone, you know? I'm going to take my 3CE Blush in Cabbage Rose. It's not really a blush, it's their multi-pot, so you can use it on like your cheeks, your lips, and your eyes, but I'm just gonna use it on my cheeks today. And I like to blend this in with the Beauty Blender, so it's just, so it looks really, 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 really natural. And it's been a while since I have put this on, and still, this side looks a lot more natural, glowy, which is what I like, and this side just feels more dull. I don't like the finger application. So last, I am gonna put on a lip shade. I could just leave my lips like this, but I feel like putting on a lip shade today. So I'm taking the Kylie Cosmetics color in Eau Naturale. Okay, so this is the look today. Um, I'm gonna let this sit. What time is it right now? All right, so it's 11.30 a.m. right now. I'm just gonna go about my day, make a couple TikToks, 
eat some breakfast because I still haven't eaten yet. And I'll get back to you guys in the evening. I don't think I'm gonna do like a nine hour wear test because I really don't expect this to last nine hours, but I'll go as long as I can possibly go. I didn't put any setting spray on, I just have powder on, and I only put powder on the areas where I put concealer, so it's not like I have powder all over my face. So I'll let you guys know how this holds up. I'll see you in a few hours. It is 7.30 and I am hungry, but also, I'm looking a little shiny. Now, usually I don't really mind shininess. Um, my only issue is around my nose. So let's just take a closer look, shall we? Oh my God, you're really close to me right now. Ew. Okay, so it did separate around the nose, but the rest of my face, everything else seems to be pretty okay. I mean, no one's looking at me this close anyway, except for you. Back up. I'm just kidding, you can stay here. But there is quite a bit of separation going on here. And also, I feel like it comes off when I touch my face. I've definitely seen way worse separation on my nose, but it's not that great either. How long do I have this on? I did do an eight hour wear test, and I did not expect this to last for eight hours, especially around my nose. I This is not a long wearing matte foundation. This is a blurring skin tint. And the rest of my face looks fine. It's really just, the nose area and a little bit under the eyes. This product was not made for longevity and I definitely had it on for too long, but just keep that in mind when you're buying a product like this. If you are more into skin tints and you're probably not gonna wear as much makeup as I did today, this is very minimal makeup for me and it's still a lot of makeup to some people. Like you can literally just wear the skin tint and that's it and then go out just like that. Basically like a tinted moisturizer, people do that all the time. It still looks really good though. My skin looks really good, it's very even, it's not patchy or anything however I have seen other reviews where people had dry patches and it did cling to those patches and make it look more prominent but I don't have any dry patches right now so I'm in the clear and again I'm gonna say I was really surprised about the coverage there's definitely some coverage going on there this is not like glossier like when I put on glossier it looks like I didn't put on anything on my face and that's how it's supposed to look this looks like i do have makeup on but not a thick layer or anything i think it's a nice balance it's a nice in between so honestly i'm not wowed by the fenty skin tint but it's also not bad either fenty always gets points for inclusivity so if you are looking for a skin tint in your shade they most likely have it especially if you are on the very dark or very light side of the spectrum. A lot of skin tint lines only have like five to 10 shades and this one has 25. So this was the side that I use my fingers and this was the side that I use the beauty blender. As you can see, this side is still more glowy. However, both sides are, you know, saturated with my natural oils. I'm just not a fan of how dull this side looked before. So I personally recommend that you apply it with a sponge, but you can do whatever you want, girl. You can use a brush, you can use your fingers, you can use your toes, I don't care. Just don't use my toes, that's off limits. So let me know if you guys have tried it or you want to try it down in the comments below. Don't forget, I do have all the products that I use in the description box. And I will see you in the next video, which is gonna be in two seconds, cause you're just gonna click on one of these. And don't forget that I love ya so, 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 so much.